Hi everybody, welcome back to Tailor Toned. Today I'm going to be doing you a tutorial on how to do a wide second plie position or it's sometimes called a plie squat. If you want a full body 30 minute workout, head back to my YouTube homepage. I have got loads on there. Let's get straight into the move. You're going to go ahead and step your feet wider than your hips. You want a natural turned out position through the feet. So don't overly turn out. You want a natural turn out. The heels are wider than the hips. You're going to pop your hands on towards your waist and I want to squeeze your butt together open through the chest, roll the shoulder blades down, and then your tailbone points down towards the floor. Take a breath, inhale in. As you exhale, sink your tailbone in between your heels and your knees dive over the top of the second toe. When you're down here, your back is upright, tailbone is down, abs are pulled in. Here's a few common mistakes with this one. The feet are overly turned out, that will make the knees roll in because you can't keep the turned out position in your hips. You've got a parallel position with the feet, that would just be taking a natural squat. So natural turn out with the feet. Other really, really big key thing, I saw this yesterday in my class. I want you to make sure as you slide down, you're gonna make sure your hips are tucked under, tailbone towards the floor, shoulders are rolled down. So dropping the hips to the floor. A lot of people, do this where they stick their bum out and then they drop down, you're gonna get low back ache. So make sure the tailbone's tucked under and it's diving directly in between your heels. Another key thing is that your knees are going over the second toe. So when you take your eye line down towards your knees, the knee should be driving over the top of the middle of the foot over that second toe. Don't forget to pull the abdominals in when you sink down. A lot of people let their waist go. And don't forget to roll the shoulders down. If you want to modify this position, you can always bring it a little bit higher. And if you want to make it burn that little bit more, dropping the hips down, but making sure you've got absolutely perfect form. Hope you learned a lot in this tutorial. Let me know down below if you found that helpful. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you again very soon for another how-to episode. And don't forget, head back to my homepage if you want a full body workout. Bye.